Today I'll be showing you how to color or texture a 3D object in Blender the easy way. If you find the video helpful or learn something, please like and subscribe. So first, you're going to hit Blender. And then we'll click anywhere to get out of the splash screen. I'll be using version 2.81. So now I'm going to delete the default cube by clicking X on the keyboard, then delete. I'm doing this because I'm going to be adding a new object in that is going to represent a model that you would probably create yourself, or whatever you want to create. So you click Shift A to add, and go to Mesh, and then Monkey. I'm just going to use this monkey because it has more detail than the basic cube. Once I've done this, we're going to go to a browser, I'll use Google Chrome. And then we're going to type in pixelart.com. If you can't find this, I'll leave the link in the, in the description. And once you're at this site, you can click start drawing. And here, you can either read through it, or I'll just click skip. And now, when you scroll down, it'll give you some dimensions and settings. We're going to change the width and the height, because we're not, we don't need 100 by 100. We're going to set it 4 by 4, so 4 pixels by 4 pixels. If you want more colors, you can change it. So 4 by 4 would give us a 16 pixel square. That's all we're going to need for this demonstration. Next, then you're going to click next, and then OK. And accept the said. Now here you'll have a blank canvas for you to add colors to. So you're, we're going to click on where it says default colors. We're going to select color and click which square you want it to be on. So you'll just go through like this. And if you don't have the color you want, you can go over to this plus icon or the new color preset. You can name it and call it color. And then you can go down where it says add color. And then you can select a color, click select color, and then you can keep going through to create as many colors as you want. And if you want to just paste in a hexacode, you can put that in here. I'll be going back to the default colors. And we're going to select a war. So we'll do blue, red, need another blue, some green, yellow, and also some brown and gray for our monkey. And where you pick however many colors you want, you can go over here, click on download, and then download. When it's finished, you can click on the arrow to open up the menu, and click show in folder. And there is our pixel art, where we'll use that as a texture. Let's minimize this, and you can exit out of the browser for now. Then you can go over here to the shading tab. Make sure you have the object of using selected. Click over here where the materials is. It's a picture of a worm. And click on material. Now this will start some nodes. Now we're going back to our file manager. Drag in the pixel art. And now you can exit that. It'll create another node. I'm going to scroll with the middle mouse wheel to zoom in. Push on the middle mouse wheel to move around. You're going to collect the color to the base color. Then go down towards this linear and click on closest. And now right now, it'll the colors will be messed up. So to fix that, you can go to the UV editor. Make sure you have the whole mesh selected. If you don't, and it's like this, click A on your keyboard once. Then go over here where it says UV and click on reset. On the left side, you're going to zoom in by scrolling with the middle mouse wheel, 
click on A to select all, and click on now we're gonna scale it down. Click on, so we'll click F on the keyboard and then 0 0.01 or just zero or just point zero one. Then click enter. And now when you move this around by clicking G on the keyboard, you'll be able to select a color like this. But right now, if we at least deselect this, this is the color didn't change. So you had to go over here to this drop down menu where the shading and go down to where it says texture. And now it'll show. I'm going to select base select because it's a little easier to use. And now, whenever you select one of these faces, I'll let you click on it and hold shift on your keyboard to multi select. So we're going to select around the eye, for instance. And then if you go over here on the left hand side to the palette, you can click G on the keyboard and move it around and it'll change the color. Just like that. So we're gonna go through and just change some of these colors by clicking shift on your keyboard and then selecting vertices. It makes it all white for the eye. And then in the middle, I think I'll make it, I guess, black for the pupil. Like that. We'll do that to the, to the other eye. Now we're going to change the nose a little bit. I think we'll make it a black. So you can select like this. And if you don't want to select with that, you can click here. I'm holding down on left click and then I drag it over and I'm going to select on last select so that when you drag it around you can select more more at once. I think I'm holding on shift and then last selecting again. And you can just go through select, you can go back down to tweak, hold on shift, and then deselect if you selected too much. Click back over here, click G to grab, move it over to the black. Now over here, we can change this again. I'm going to select all this. And now let's go up here and grab it and change it to black. And you can just keep going through to decide which color you want. Now I think I'm going to change this, the middle part to a red, like that. That's pretty much it. So that's how I like to color or texture through your models in Blender. If you enjoyed the video and learned something, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.